Is magnesium okay to take for chronic kidney disease? A question we got today at Healthy Kidney Inc. Generally, the answer is yes, but it does depend, and we're gonna talk about that. So this video is about chronic kidney disease and not magnesium for kidney stones. If you were interested in learning about magnesium for kidney stones, another video that we have on our YouTube channel, so you can take a look at that. This is magnesium as it relates to chronic kidney disease. And we used to think that you shouldn't take magnesium. But what we know now is that low levels can actually help all the complications that come across with chronic kidney disease and can possibly even slow down the progression of chronic kidney disease if you have a low level of magnesium or not an optimal level that we like to see. So what this article that I'm referencing is the International Journal of Molecular Science, January 2020. They published an article here. And it talks about magnesium as one of many nutrients for chronic kidney disease. And with magnesium, you like to get your levels tested. Okay, so that's important and that's what they reference. A lot of people do have low magnesium status in kidney disease. N to know that, you need to have your levels tested. And you wanna be, even if you don't, aren't technically deficient out of that range, which depending on your lab, the low level for magnesium can be anywhere from 1.7 to 1.9, they all vary a little bit. You can check the ranges. And you like to be a little higher or in the middle range or even more towards a little bit of the higher end with your magnesium because it is shown to have some protective benefits. In stages one to three kidney disease, you can take it pretty safely and easily. Stages four and five, you do have to be more careful because there's a tendency that it might increase uh, your magnesium levels, possibly, okay, um, in those later stages due to what's going on and the amount of kidney damage and what you have happening. So you do wanna check your levels regardless if you're gonna take magnesium. And if you are gonna supplement, the better types of magnesium are the magnesium glycinate, uh, magnesium malate, magnesium aspartate, so, or magnesium aspartate, same thing. There's a lot of different types out there. So you do wanna supplement with one of those types or not so much the oxide or citrate form of magnesium. The reason is that stays more in the colon and can give you loose stools, diarrhea, and you don't absorb as much of it into your body where you need it. So that's why I'd recommend using one of those other magnesiums that I mentioned. There's a lot of other ones out there but you preferably don't wanna use magnesium citrate and magnesium oxide because they don't absorb 100% or as good into the body as opposed to the other magnesiums that I mentioned like magnesium glycinate. So that's magnesium, all right? So if you're gonna supplement, do those things I recommended, use those forms, a lot of products out there. Thanks for watching everybody. And it does have a potential to have a lot of benefit with chronic kidney disease. And as far as the amounts per day, I would say two to 400 milligrams of those better quality, more absorbable magnesiums, but talk to your doctor first. Thanks for watching everybody, bye.